by Allah, we swear by the Almighty Allah, we will never stop fighting you until you leave us alone. Many, many ayat throughout the Quran that we must fight them as they fight us. An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. We are, I apologize that women had to witness this today. But in our land, our women have to see the same. You people will never be safe. Remove your government. They don't care about you. Dopo aver parlato a un passante che filma col cellulare, l'uomo con le mani insanguinate e una mannaia da macellaio si avvia verso il compagno armato di coltelli e, secondo testimoni, di una pistola. Woolwich, sud-est di Londra, a pochi metri da una caserma di artiglieria. Il corpo a terra è quello di un soldato di vent'anni, reduce dall'Afghanistan. Lo hanno investito con l'auto, poi lo hanno assalito con i coltelli e la mannaia, lo hanno fatto a pezzi. La gente guarda, sbigottita. Una donna, Ingrid Loyo Kenneth, cerca di soccorrere la vittima, l'assassino le si avvicina. Ho pensato che era meglio farlo parlare, racconta la coraggiosa signora. Gli ho chiesto perché lo avevano fatto. Ha risposto perché era un soldato che uccide donne e bambini musulmani in Iraq e in Afghanistan. Gli ho detto guardate sta arrivando la polizia, cosa farete? Lui ha risposto siamo in guerra, li uccideremo. The two girls then try to talk to the suspected attackers who make no attempts to leave. Witnesses said the attack began as the blue car crashed into the soldier, the attackers leaping out with knives and the gun. As I see the car on the pavement, we drove round here, and as we drove round here, I see two geezers leaning over another geezer, and I thought they were trying to resuscitate him, because I thought he was the one in the accident. So, like, we parked the car in the garage, and we started walking up, and as we started walking up, there was a lorry there, already parked there, and a little car come along. And he got out, and he said, call 999 or something like that, and uh, next minute, um, He's pulled the gun out from behind the back of him, black handgun, which takes 12 to 15 rounds, and he's just shot off. The two suspected terrorists waited for armed police to arrive, encouraging those around to take pictures, no doubt wanting what they would see as the propaganda victory. They attacked the police, who shot and injured them. Get back! Get back! Move back! Move back! That's, Move that's back! That's how you come in. Move back! That's long that you need to come. One of the murderers walking around with the weapons, walking around with the weapons, and um, just saying the most randomest things that anyone could ever say, saying that men are not going near the body, only women, um, saying this is what God would have wanted, and then they were telling people to video record them doing it, and then the police come back five, seven minutes later. The area around the barracks is now completely cordoned off. What is so shocking about this attack is not just the ferocity of it, but the fact that the attackers made no attempt to hide, no attempt, it seems, to run off. In fact, quite the opposite. On the ground, the bloody weapons. Soldiers who fight abroad, finding themselves under attack at home. The place they should have been safe. Lucy Manning, ITV News, Woolwich.